Hi everybody, this video is inspired by Kelly Harrison, aka Kelly Gorgeous Gucci, Kelly Mizrahi. She is a ballroom legend and icon, and I had to pay homage to her. Sorry if you can hear my cat, he's acting buck wild. So I had quite a few looks I wanted to do for Kelly because she's so current. Um, first of all, there was this one, but the one that really caught my eye um, was this one here. This eye, this lip, obsessed. For the hair, I decided to go with this. And this is one where she is hyping up her hairstylist. I know Kelly is that bitch to be around when you need hype. I just know it. Um, you probably know her from a lot of the videos she did with MC Debra. Also, I followed her to do this on um, Instagram to look through photos and stuff because she was next on my list and she followed back. I was, I felt so cunty when she followed back. I was like, yeah, that's what I am. I really hope you guys enjoy the video. Kelly, if you see this, I hope you know how much of a true legend and icon you are and thank you so much for being a trans icon. Have a great day guys and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye. Okay, so we're starting it with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz Skinny Brown Pencil. Um, I ran out of my L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer, so I'm just using this to get rid of it, to use what I own, as opposed to going and buying it when it's, like, pretty much the same thing, you know? Um, then we will be going into the P. Louise base on the eyes, and that is to set everything. I'll be taking a beauty sponge and just pouncing over the whole eye to make sure that that is like all of the eye area is sufficiently covered. Um, then I'm going to be going ahead and going into the uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills Sultry Palette. So the colors I'm using for this are Fresh, Pearl, and Rose Quartz. Fresh is on the brow bone, Pearl is on the inner corner, and Rose Quartz is on the lid. But this gets covered up with a MAC Crushed Metallic Pigment at a later time. Then I will be going ahead and going into the crease and in the crease I will be using the Juvia's Place Warrior 2 and I will be using the colors Yodit and Kufuru. I also use the Nubian 2 for this. I use the colors Zuri on the lid and I use the color Kenya on the very outer corner. So for the Warrior 2 palette, I'll be using um, Yoda and Kafuru, like I mentioned. So Yoda will be on, I think, I believe this is where I'm using Yoda, and then Kafuru will be a bit closer to the outer corner. So I'm just going ahead and I am blending in and building up that crease color and I will be doing not a stark cut crease, it's more like, you know how when you have a lid color that you place down and you blend over top of it, but then if you place over top of your blend that lid color again, it sharpens it back up. So it's not like starkly, like concealer cut, cut crease it's just I don't know hard to explain um, then we will be applying that MAC summer stash crush metallic pigment now this is no joke probably 15 years old I probably or six, maybe 14 years old um, I got it a very long time ago and I don't like you probably shouldn't do this. I know you shouldn't do this, but I did it, and I'm going to continue doing it. So that's that on that. So I'm doing this shape here, more so winged out towards the outer corner. And just continuing to get those darker colors in there. It's more like a layering process. That way we don't end up with anything muddy or too much. 
sometimes when you're using darker browns, you can get a bit heavy-handed. I know I can at least. Um, so yeah. And I'm using a more pointed brush to apply it in a specific area. More like a pencil point brush that is a bit of a thicker tip just so that I'm not blending it out too much while I'm applying it. I'm applying it more so in a definitive area. And I apply the crushed pigment from MAC with my knuckle because I couldn't get into the container with my finger because of my nails. And I love applying pigments with my fingers. So using my knuckle gave the same effect. Then I'm using the Duo Lash Adhesive. I'm using the one that dries clear, of course. And I'll be going ahead and putting on some rhinestones. I don't know what size these are, um, but they are just a silver stone. And I'm applying that like this. I believe there was six on each eye. I did what looked good on me. I didn't count how many there was on Kelly. I just did what I thought would look best on my eye. <clears throat> and then I went ahead with the e.l.f. H2O Proof Eyeliner Pen. If you have any drugstore eyeliner recommendations, liquid eyeliner recommendations that are in a felt tip pen, let me know. I'm definitely in the market for one. Love the Made by Mitchell one. That's my favorite black eyeliner I've tried. However, ordering it online is a hassle and stuff like that, so... Some of these tutorials, I've like used one and realized it's been dry as fuck, so I had to move on to another one. The e.l.f. H2O Proof Eyeliner Pen is very dry right now as well, too, but I'm doing with it what I can. Then curling the lashes and applying Lancome Lash Idol Mascara. And then I'll be going in with some lashes. And I do not know the name of these. I apologize. They are customized. Um, so I bought a really dramatic lash and then cut the very end piece off, like a millimeter of it off, maybe two tufts of lashes, and then placed it in the middle so there was a little bit of added height in the middle. Then I will be going ahead and moving on to the face, and I will be using the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. And I'll be using the Juvia's Place I Am Magic Concealer, and that will be going on the under eye area for foundation. I'll be using the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Foundation. Um, and I also did concealer on my chin and forehead as well, too. I find that um, this concealer covers my freckling enough to where I can apply foundation over it and cover it sufficiently. There's still a couple that poke through, but nothing crazy. And then the L'Oreal True Match Lumi, like I said. Love this, favorite foundation ever, and just apply that all over the face with a foundation brush, and then go back over it with a sponge to just make sure that all of the lines and creases are out. Then I will be using the um, Makeup Revolution Ultra Cream Bronzer in the color Light, and I will apply that along the perimeter of my face. For blush, I tried something different. I wanted to... It, this is totally not necessary. I, I used more than one product, which, like I said, not necessary. I used the P. Louise Peach in My Heart Liquid Blush, and then I went into the Dennis and Myrick's Ballet Slippers Vision, Vision Flush and just touched a little dab there. Then I went ahead and blended it all together. Um, I don't know that I put enough of the Ballet Slippers Vision Flush on to really make a difference, but here we are. If you're wanting something more, you can definitely put more on. 
Or, it, you, I mean, use the blush you feel best. And that is the Makeup Revolution Ultra Cream Bronzer. And I'm, like I said, using that along the perimeter of my face. And for setting the face, I'll be using the MAC Studio Fix Powder. I use the white color under my eye. And that is the uh, Shivering White is the name I was trying to think of. And then I use my regular skin color along the rest of my face. That is the color NC18 or NC15, I can't remember. This is just added coverage as well as giving a nice soft kind of velvety texture to the skin. And then I will set the face with the Makeup Revolution Luxury Baking Powder. Um, I actually love this loose powder, by the way. It go a little goes a long way. Like, the little tub that it comes in will last forever. Um, but anyway, will last forever for me. I love loose powder. I used to, like, have so many, but I've tried to go through them over the years. Um... And I will apply that just with like a little triangle and just make sure that everything is not tacky, everything's dry, and then I will dust off the excess. Then I'll start with the bronzer, which is the Lottie, Latch Lottie London Suncatcher Sunkissed Bronzer. Uh, this was sent to me, but I really like it, so I still use it. And then the Lottie London Haze Ombre Blush was also sent to me, and I really like it, so I still use it. And I'm using that along the cheeks. And the bronzer, I did use a touch on my nose as well, too. And that is just to tie that color from the outside of the face into somewhere on the middle of the face, just to make sure that there's no, doesn't look like a mask type thing. For eyeliner, I am using the uh, Made by Mitchell Black Track All Smudge No Budge Pencil. And then I am going in with, I believe it was, it's the darkest brown. So I think that was Kufuru or no, Kenya. I used Kenya under the eye. And for lips, I used the Bobbi Brown Bobbi Lip Liner. The Jeffree Star Cosmetics Camel Humps Shiny Trap and the Revlon Sandstone Lip Lacquer as a gloss. And just making sure that the liner is nice and blended in. For Hair. Oh, I also did spray as well, too, with the Hello Kitty and Cream Shot Makeup Perfecting Mist, and then just go over it with a fan to make sure it is nice and dry. I love spraying a ton of setting spray and then um, setting it with a fan like this. For hair, this is a wig I made, and I'm just going to go ahead and do a nice side part clean that up and then I'll be using a wax stick to stick down any of the flyaway hairs or anything and I honestly can't remember where I got this one from I think it's just from Amazon it's not it's nothing special and I'll be curling the hair with a one and a quarter I believe it is inch curling iron and I will just be, could be a one inch as well too, honestly. And then I will just be curling that away from my face, everything. Um, you could also do wand curls for this. I just felt like doing a barrel curl. Like curling with the actual barrel of the iron, I mean, you know what I'm saying. Um, and this is a Marcel iron. You do not have to use that. You can just use a regular curling iron. And 
this wig was made to mimic my natural hair color so I don't have to lay down the sides or anything because my natural hair color has grown in enough and honestly for these videos like I'm not doing anything I'm not going anywhere so I'm not gonna lay down my wig or like glue it down I don't want to like use glue for nothing you know so or like damage the integrity of the wig for nothing so I just uh, have it on my head and don't move <laughs> I wanted to make sure that you saw how I did each side that way you know how to curl away from your face um, if you don't already and then use that wax stick and you are good to go. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a good day and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.